Jay Delano's first night on The Tonight Show was on May 25th, 1992. He made tens of millions of Americans laugh over the last 22 years. But we rarely got a glimpse of the softer side of Jay. Last night was the exception. This has been the greatest 22 years of my life. First year of this show, I lost my mom. Second year, I lost my dad. Then my brother died. And uh, after that, I was pretty much out of family. And the folks here became my family. And I'm really excited for Jimmy Fallon. You know, it's fun to kind of be the old guy and sit back here and see where the next generation takes this great institution. And in closing, I want to quote Johnny Carson, who was the greatest guy to ever do this job. And he said, I bid you all a heartfelt good night. All right. But the night wasn't entirely sentimental. Here's part of his classic monologue. Listen. Thank you, Rabbi. I, I don't like goodbyes. NBC does. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. For well, tonight is our last show for real. And uh, see, I don't need to get fired three times. I get the hint. I get the hint. The worst thing about losing this job, I'm no longer cover NBC. I'd have to sign up for Obamacare. Oh. <laughs> He had to get one of those in there, KG. Yeah, that made me smile. Big old pepsi grin. grin. <laughs> that was a cute one. I just love this guy. I don't want to say goodbye, Jay. I want to say hello. Oh, <laughs> I just oh. hope that he gets picked up someplace else. How about Box? Now, Bob, are you a, a Jay Leno fan? Oh, uh, yeah. I like you, wait, wait, are you Bob's well, crying. Are you welling up a little bit from that? Yeah, I don't know. I was, I was waiting to see whether his cat and dog died. I, I, listen, I... Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, look, it's, it's sad, but but listen, I, I don't follow these late night shows, but it's amazing to me how many people do and who, how much they care about. And there's more stories about these people and what they're up to, but particularly if they're in trouble or they get fired. or whatever. I mean, can't they just have a no drama late night show? I don't understand. I don't know. <laughs> What do you I don't mean? live for the well, like, No don't. drama like right here. Oh, like this, for, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for example, right. if, uh -huh. if Dana has your Wi-Fi uh, off, uh, that's, <laughs> oh my that's gosh. still drama. Or Diet Cokes. <laughs> or the dreams. That, the dreams of her Dana or the five. No, no I had dreams of my five last night. It wasn't really a comedy, though. <laughs> so so what do you think about that? Um, he really you know, poured out his heart at the end. Yeah, not easy to do. Not easy mm -hmm. to say goodbye to a thing that you've, been, that you've helped build, that uh, all the... All the goodbyes. I mean, it takes forever. I actually, I'm not for the big long goodbye. Mm. I, it's, I feel like we've been doing this for a month, uh, just saying goodbye to Jay Leno. Um, I don't, but we're going to see him do more. So I think it's interesting to see shows. people that talented figure out a way to reinvent themselves as the, as uh, either younger people come up or technology changes. How can you continue to do amazing things every day? And that, so I, I look forward to seeing what it is and then trying to follow in his footsteps, not from a comedic standpoint, you want to talk obviously. About the, but you but want from to talk a about, rapper standpoint. You want, you want to talk about the goodbye or Jimmy Fallon hello? Uh, I can do anything you yes, want. you are very talented in that respect. <laughs> How about the goodbye? Um, people are calling it the end of an era. It is not the end of an era. Johnny Carson leaving was the end of an era because everybody watched him. And when Johnny Carson left, he left. Jay Leno is not going to leave. You don't understand. He's done this twice. We're like going through his marriages. I mean, for him, work is marriage. He's going to be in three weeks. He's going to be back doing another show. Warning to Jay, 3 a.m. is mine. Um, <laughs> as, as for Jimmy Fallon. Leno constantly talks about Jimmy Fallon, and there is a strategy behind this. The strategy is, screw you, Conan. Because what he's saying, every time he says uh, Jimmy Fallon is the next Jimmy Car Johnny Carson, he's basically saying, Conan, this is because you got me canned. It's like making out with your new girlfriend in front of your ex. Mm. It's a very, if people are saying Jay's being gracious about this, he's not. There's a legitimate strategy behind this. They're all mm. kind of looking at each other, yeah, all checking each once. other out. <laughs> Hang in there. Jay was on his game oh delivering God. a funny yet poignant monologue. More fun followed, though. Oprah, Carol Burnett, Jack Black, and others delivered a raucous musical tribute in the form of a The Sound of Music parody. Watch. So long, farewell, I'll be missing my dear. If Alan tanks, you'll be back here next year. So long, farewell, I'm here, so what the hell? For your last show, I'll do the Tarzan yell.
Um, that was cute. That was fun. I like yeah, it. Yeah, uh, but again, not a big moment for anyone under 40. Yep. Uh, most people have no idea because they're watching TV differently. People aren't going and saying, oh, my God, the Tonight Show's on the way it used to be. People are watching TV at different times of the day. For example, there was nothing. this is nothing compared to how people felt when Breaking Bad ended. Or when Mad Men ends in like, a year. I, are you projecting? Yes. Are you projecting right now? No. To what? Because I would take the opposite of that. I find the moving on of Jay uh, a little, is, a, little it, a little, a little tough for me to deal with. Oh, well, it's because no. of the twenty years, and you and you you feel as though it, well, you've aged yeah, with I've, him. I've kind of grew up with Jay. That's we went him. through, yeah. you know, Bin Laden, first yeah. black president. Yeah, There's a lot to worry about. Dan is exactly right. It's, we haven't said goodbye. It, it, we're, uh, we're we're almost as many years to say goodbye to him as he's been on the air. Uh, but you know, the fact is, he's going to be doing something. He's the kind of guy that won't, that cannot sit down. He's like Johnny yeah. Carson went into. Jesus retreated. It just disappeared, went to Malibu, wouldn't come out, wouldn't talk to people. And I thought that was kind of cool. What? Jay will be back out. But I thought Kim Kardashian was supposed to be in this thing. Was, was the heat too much and the plastic was going to melt? No, she, she is in it. She, she, she did it. it. Yeah. She's part of the singing part of it. Oh. So don't, you can watch. See Bob right there in the white dress. But, I, you know, I like this. I really like him. I think he's a winner. I don't even know why they let him go. I like him better than Jimmy Fallon. I'm sorry. I always have. Oh, boy. You should, Danny, you I do. Oh, you don't? Oprah took that singing what? part you seriously. Like no, Oprah. Yeah, I just don't like the blubbering over this. <laughs> We're going to only blubber for about six more minutes. Well, six minutes more <laughs> yes, blubbering. Yes. So Five get your game face hosts. on. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I said Oprah took it very seriously because Carol Burnett, she kind of knows she can't sing that well. Right, right. So she was just like going for it, but Oprah really tried to sing did well. Know I would sing, sing horribly. Well? It would but sound so bad. she didn't so do a bad, bad job. And I she like that they paid job. him Oh, here she is. Hold yeah, the, I guess the heat was down in the room. I guess you have a type, Bob. It looks like you have a type. Why is she there? I have that, no was the, idea. that was the one thing yeah. that stood I mean, out. Right. Is there, there was a reason for just about everyone. They were trying for the under 40. Legends. Maybe they were trying That's for what the it under was. It was a demographic uh, uh, grab. Yes. Power grab. All right. Yeah. How about this? There they was also had a, a, dog. a star studded <laughs> What's Next for Jay Montage. Check it out. Why don't you take all this newfound time and develop an interesting hobby like working on old cars? Actually, Jay does work on old cars. He's got a whole garage full of them. Okay, well maybe, Jay, with your newfound time, you could finally invite me over to your garage. Jay, do what I do. Use your downtime to paint. I love it. Check it out. Jay, I know you're happily married to a wonderful woman who you would never cheat on, but if Mavis ever gives you a one-time hall pass, I'm your girl. Just asking people's opinions about what they think Jay should do. Why would I give what he does. He's a grown man. Let him figure it out for himself. I got a job. Or you could do this. A lot of people that are just sitting around doing nothing to make money, they sell meth. <laughs> you can do that. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, See, you're liking one? it more now. Well, I thought that part was pretty funny. Larry and Cable guy. Look, I, I, I'm amazed at the promotion and the expense and all of the effort. There was a lot of love for, obviously, they're on the staff level. Yes. At the network, there was a lot of love for Jay Leno. And so they wanted to make the goodbye as warm as possible. And they've put a lot of money into it. Now, will they put a corresponding uh, number of resources behind Jimmy Fallon's rollout? So are we going to talk about Jimmy Fallon for the next month? Please, no, water. but I mean, I, I, I will be interested to see what kind of promotion that they get. They try so that they try to hold that audience. That Jay Leno has been he he leaves with a 15 year high in right. terms of the ratings. But this right. is also part of the so I think the Fallon myth. promotion because they're trying to get everybody to watch and make a lot of fanfare to get people like eyeballs focused back on the Tonight Show yeah, again. So this is the first part of the bookend, and we'll see what. Fallon can bring. But one of the things, Danny, you brought up I thought was so great was that the staff loves him. He is beloved. They really yeah. like this guy. He's a class act. People don't have anything bad to say about him. And he helps subsidize the well, staff salaries and, and when they were paid. Not everybody. Guys. Well, but <laughs> except for you, but you, you <laughs> No, no, I actually like I like Leno. Not a fan of his writing staff. For some reason, they have a knack of coming up with jokes days after they've appeared elsewhere. <laughs> Do you know any of them? Have you heard I know, it? Yes, I know. Yes. By the way, they made fun of me on that show, let's, and I still like it. Let's him. keep in mind how much money divorce. they make on these evening shows, on <laughs> these late the night shows, and these networks. Talk about about the well, they make a fortune on the shows because there's not a lot of expense, except for the host, you've got to pay, and there are a few other people, but by and large, they make a whole and, lot of money. And there's one other trick. The reason why they, they spend so much time and effort on, on the late night show is because when you turn that show off at night, yeah, the morning, you turn the TV right. back on in the morning, and you want your morning hey, by show. By the way, Martha, front and center. you see Martha Stewart was asking him for a date, just like she went out and was looking for a date. She did another And interview. she didn't ask you, remember? We I were know. setting that it's, up. It's like she, she, uh, she's mind, still available. She's taunting you. Martha no, I don't, I don't, is not Bob's type. 